everyone, here's another quick Tennille Teaches. Uh, I'm going to show off a few more beginning steps in Toon Boom because I realized there was a couple of things I missed talking about in my getting started tutorial. And I also had a few comments that I want to cover while going over this stuff. So first, when I open up Toon Boom, I get this window. And uh, this is just for my settings. You know, if you want some other different kind of settings, you can do those, of course. But uh, make sure that, you know, you have a new scene, project directory. I'm just having a file be put directly into my desktop. And you have to name your file. And I'm going to name this uh, Startup. And then I also always use HDTV Vertical uh, 1920 by 1080 because that's a nice and big file to render out for, especially if you're doing map parts. So. I hit create and uh, here it shows up with a gray screen I'm on my camera tab um, and it starts me off with a drawing layer down here below first thing I always do is I hit this plus button here and I hit color card and color card is important because that is what's going to render a background color when I render it so now if I uh, if I do a quick pencil here, what's going to render is this black line on a white background. Otherwise, if I didn't have this color card, it would render as just a black line on a black background because there's nothing there. So then I usually pull my, my color card down just by selecting it and pulling it down. And also with this plus tab, you can get your camera, you can get your color card, you can get another drawing layer. Um, you can group drawing layers together. You can also give a sound layer, although usually when I have sound, I import sound, and then it will automatically make a sound layer, so you don't have to worry about that. So you just go import, sound, and make sure that if you're importing sound into Toon Boom, it has to be a WAV file, so a .wav file. Uh, that's important because otherwise Toon Boom won't be able to import your sound, so make sure that you know how to convert to a WAV. If you have uh, After Effects or many other programs um, can take you know, an MP3 or an AVI sound or whatever and change it to an MOV. So you do that. Um, I got a question about these tabs and my camera drawing network and if you don't have these you can click this arrow here and you can grab the tab that you want to get so you know here's my camera here's my drawing and here's my network and you know any of these other ones that you want are also good um, these are just kind of the basic three that you need though uh, the next thing, I'm going to pull up the question here, um, the camera view on the drawing, layers. She says when she starts up she has a drawing layer, so uh, yes, like I said, you can use these to get your drawing layers. And she's also asking about, let me find your username, Awesome Panda, Awesome Panda, in order to get your onion skins working. Let me just get a few examples here of scribbles, and I'm putting them in various spots on my timeline for a reason. So you know, you'll see, uh, once I put them where I wanted them to be, I just kind of grabbed my timeline wherever I wanted to go, and I made some marks. You can also do the same thing by going forward and hitting uh, insert keyframe. Or actually, no, don't listen to me. That was bad advice. Don't hit keyframe. Just go to where you want in the timeline and then draw. And that makes a new key. And you can also move these keys around by clicking and dragging so they become blue. And then you can pull them around. Um, so like, let's say we want this keyframe to be at the 20 mark. I'll just pull it over here and now it's over there. If I want this keyframe to be longer, I can either pull out or I can come over here to my X sheet and this library network X sheet um, 
tabs are all good things to have and yet again if you just click the gray arrow you can pull down and see everything you need uh, but if I wanted to make you know this one longer I can also grab my three here and pull this arrow down and now it's longer here on the timeline so anyway your onion skins your onion skin layer is here and you'll notice I clicked the button but nothing happened that's because I'm on the camera layer or the camera view tab I'll try and keep the same terminology so I'm not confusing the camera view tab here in the camera view tab the onion skin is only going to show up um, relative to where these blue markers are so if I pull this all the way out I can now see all my onion skins for all my drawings back so as long as this marker is at the spot where this drawing is I'm going to see this drawing and it will get you know more red or less red depending on how much of the drawing I'm seeing of it and how close it is if you are on the drawing view tab you are going to see uh, every drawing um, so for every one space I move out with this, you will see another drawing. So if I move one space out, I'm actually seeing this drawing. And if I move another space out in red, I can see this drawing. Another space out and so on and so forth. And same thing goes with green forward. So there's just a couple of different things uh, that you need to keep in mind when you're doing the drawing view tab versus the camera view tab. Um, and I hope those answer your questions. I'm going to take a quick look and see if there were any other questions I wanted to answer. I don't think so. Thank you so much for your question, Awesome Panda. I'm sorry I didn't cover those very well beforehand. If you have any other questions, feel free to comment on this video, or you can try and get a hold of me via Twitter at Tenille Flowers at Twitter, I think is, or at Tenille Flowers, that's how you do Twitter, is at Tenille Flowers, same name as my username. Um, you can find me there and like just link me pictures of what kind of problems you're having and I'll try and help. So thanks for your time and I hope this is helpful. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!